Welcome WCC fans to Inside the WCC. With us today is Ryan Wiegand and Matt Fields from Gonzaga University. Matt is this week's WCC Rawlings Pitcher of the Week and Ryan earned WCC Rawlings Co-Player of the Week honors for the second straight week. Welcome guys and thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us. First off, congratulations to both you guys for earning the weekly honors. Uh, Matt, this is your second Pitcher of the Week honor this season. And as I, as I stated, this is your second straight honor for you as well, Ryan. Uh, Matt, uh, this is the fourth time a Gonzaga player has won the Pitcher of the Week award. How have you guys as a pitching staff been able to maintain such a high level of success all season long? Um, you know, it's, we've been throwing the ball pretty well, um, everybody on the staff. Uh, it seems like we're, we're all pretty competitive and we like to win. Um, all of our guys up and down have quality stuff. Uh, starters, you know, we're going deep into games and giving our team a chance to win, and uh, you know, just keeping the ball down. And we're we're trying to eliminate the beginnings. Now, Ryan, um, like I mentioned, we talked last week, and it seems like you just continued your hot play this past week, um, and you're on 11 game hitting streak and multi hits in your last seven. Is your confidence at an all time high right now? And what's been the difference for you uh, lately? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say that uh, confidence is an all-time high right now, but I definitely feel very comfortable at the plate right now. And uh, I just talked, I talked to some former Zags, Brandon, Win- or Brian, Brandon Harmon, excuse me, and Brian Winston, and they just put things into perspective for me. Just told me not to do too much and uh, stay within myself, and I think that's really helped me a lot, just to simplify things mentally and uh, physically at the plate. Now, Ryan, uh, I know we talked little bit last week about records, but this past week you just became Gonzaga's all-time hits leader. Have you had a chance to think about what that means and, and let it sink in a little bit, or have you still put it on the back burner for now and we'll think about it later? Um, it's, it's definitely crossed my mind, but it's not something I think about constantly. Uh, it's, it's a pretty nice record to have, I guess, but I like to put that on the back burner, like you said, and uh, just focus on LMU uh, next weekend. A uh, pretty big series we have coming up. And, uh, yeah, just focus on them and hopefully uh, win the series. Now, Matt, you're coming off your first career complete game shutout. Um, can you talk about that performance? And how much does it mean? Uh, does, it, does it put you at ease to, to know you have uh, a player like Ryan and, and Tyson in the lineup and they're, they're, they're playing so well? Does that put you at ease on the mound, knowing that you don't have to be necessarily perfect out there? Yeah, yeah, first of all, uh, having Wiegand and Ben Winkle and you know some other guys in the lineup, uh, we know we're going to put some rounds up. Um, we have a couple guys who are seeing the ball really well. Uh, Ryan's obviously really hot right now. Um, so that's nice. And on the mound, it's kind of, I can, you know, have, have a little room for error. Um, I can make some mistakes and stay in the game. And uh, I know the offense is going to pick me up. Now, Ryan, uh, can you talk about Matt and the rest of the Gonzaga pitching staff? They've had a fantastic season. Um, from an offensive standpoint, how much pressure does that take off you guys knowing um, that you don't need to necessarily get a hit in every single at-bat, that you know that you guys are going to get strong pitching performances uh, night in, night out? Uh, it's, it's definitely a great thing having Fields and Ames out there knowing that they're going to keep the ball down and just compete every pitch, and that's all we can ask for. Uh, they keep us in ball games. They go late in the ball games and just constantly give us a chance to win. And it's definitely a good feeling knowing that they're going to go out there and keep us in the ball game. And uh, I think we should also give some credit to, to Coach Bennett. He's been doing a great job with him this year. And uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome having him out there. Now, Matt, you guys are off this week. Uh, how do you feel about taking a whole week off before a big series like the one you guys have up against uh, LMU in a couple of weeks? Um, how do you plan on utilizing this week off to prepare for next week's matchup? Uh, you know, it's kind of nice to have a little break with finals going on. Um, but this weekend, on Friday and Saturday, we're going we're gonna to have an inner squad. Uh, try to stay sharp on the mound. Um, so that's the biggest thing is kind of keep the routine the same. With pitching, you know, a lot of it's routine, so we want to keep everything similar and pretend like we're playing this weekend. And, um, you know, we have a big big series next week against LMU, so we'll just have to get ready for that. Ryan, as I mentioned before, um, the huge series against LMU uh, in, in two weekends, um, which will determine a spot in the WCC Championship Series. What does it mean as a senior to have a chance to be playing for a conference championship? Um, it feels pretty awesome right now. Uh, of course, it would be nice to, to leave here with a ring, but uh, we can't look too far ahead. We need to take care of business.
business uh, against Oregon State coming up. We had a nice two-game series against them at their place. Um, good ball, they have a good ball club. And then uh, hopefully they tuned us up for the LMU, and we take care of business at home and uh, just do what we do. And hopefully uh, it'll come our way or things will go our way. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Now, Matt, also being a senior, it must feel great to be having the season that you're having, both from a team and individual standpoint. Um, it must be fun for you guys to be going out and playing in so many crucial games this late in the season with the possibility of a WCC championship and a regional berth. Yeah, it is great. Uh, it's, you know, it's a spot we haven't really been in these last couple of years. I remember there two years ago, the WCC championships. And we felt like we kind of let one slip away. So, um, you know, we're all working hard right now, and we're playing with a lot of confidence. Um, you know, once you're not in the lineup and all our, all our guys on the mound, we feel like we can go out there and win every game. Um, and that's what we're you know, going out to do. Well, thank you guys for joining us today, and good luck to you guys with the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you. That does it for this edition of Inside the WCC. Fans log on to WCCSports.com for your latest news, videos, podcasts, and exclusive merchandise.